What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Hulu's new movie, Boss Level. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Is it just me, or has there been an uptick in the time temporal loop genre? We had that Palm Springs last year, and then the map of tiny perfect things just recently, and now this boss level. I get it though. I get why this is a concept that a lot of filmmakers like to play with, because the idea of having a mulligan or a do-over can open you up to exciting limitless possibilities in just one movie. The same goes for Boss Level. This is an outrageously fun popcorn Saturday night flick. Lots of firepower, lots of bloody, wacky, absurd moments. The action is very video game-like, and the film consistently thinks outside the box in terms of its repetition and its many variations. Oh, and did I mention, Frank Grillo is absolutely badass. Written by Chris Boré and Eddie Boré and Joe Carnahan, Directed by Joe Carnahan, trapped in a time loop that constantly repeats the day of his murder, former Special Forces agent Roy Pulver uncovers clues about a secret government project that could unlock the mystery behind his untimely death. In a race against the clock, Pulver must hunt down Colonel Venter, the powerful head of the government program, while outrunning skilled ruthless assassins determined to keep him from the truth in order to break out of the loop, save his ex-wife, and live once again for tomorrow. Starring Frank Grillo, Mel Gibson, Naomi Watts, Annabelle Wallace, Ken Jeong, Will Sasso, Selena Lowe, Meadow Williams, and Michelle Yeoh. Damn, it's been about seven years or so since the last time that Joe Carnahan directed a full-on film, and I actually liked some of his stuff in the past. Granted, they were not all critically and commercially successful, but Joe's action or thriller movies aim to be nothing more than just pure entertainment. And sometimes, be honest, that's all we want to see after a long, hard days of work. Boss Level is very daring, as if there is no bad idea. Whatever they post on the storyboard is probably what you end up seeing. Frank Grillo jumping onto a helicopter. Frank Grillo sliced and chopped to pieces. Frank Grillo getting dragged across the street with a sharp object sticking out of his chest. The craziest ideas they can think of, it's all on the table. They would try to pull it off, and they did. But boss level is not perfect, okay? I do have criticism about it, but before we get to that, many of its eccentric supporting characters crack me up, including Will Sasso and the Lady with the Sword. They're like the bad guys you love to hate, the bad guys you oddly want to cheer for. Their interactions with Frank Grillo are some of the most enjoyable highlights of this film. And although they could have done less is more with the editing, the way that the fights are choreographed and shot are significantly more eye-catching than most Hollywood actioners these days. Frank Grillo may not yet be on the same legendary ranks as Bruce Willis Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger, but Frank is steadily earning his stripes. And in boss level, he proves himself again, handling the physically demanding scenes in a very committed way, all in, without hesitation nor reservation. The film's brand of humor is irreverent, which is a bonus point. And now, here's my criticism of boss level. The script is kinda wonky. By that I mean, while the action for the most part is pretty much competent, the rest of it, including the drama involving Naomi Watts, seems rudderless and poorly executed, as if they don't quite know 
how to exactly nail that down. The chemistry between Frank and Naomi is awkwardly off. As Gertrude Stein would put it, there's no there there. And Mel Gibson as a villain is rather weak. I know he could do more, but he's painfully underused in this film. What a waste of a talent. So, while the action is strong and the comedy is solid, the sci-fi drama aspect of Boss Level just aren't screwed on tight. Nevertheless, I'd still watch this movie just for the hell of it.